there. Anyway, yeah, so the sun's coming up over there. Uh, last night I picked some pretty good amount, I guess. This, these fields here have not had compost. The one over there did, and that one really yielded nice. So, uh, yeah, compost is key in this area of the world, so if you've got the ability, go get it. It costs money, but it's cheaper than what this fertilizer bill is going to be this year. Ah, but do you ever wake up in the morning and your windows are all fogged up and you can't see out, especially when you get to the end of the road, you turn the heater on and instead of clearing it out, it gets worse? Yeah, 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 that's the, that's the kind of morning I'm having today. So, what I have to do is redirect the direction of this heat over to my windows in the 7810. Yeah, 7810. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can get these things to defrost a little bit. Got my wagon load. I got I did three wagons yesterday, which really wasn't isn't a lot. I mean it's uh, there's like 500 bushels in each one of these. 480 to 500. That's about where they land. Uh, so I did three wagons. One of uh, the orange wagon is 380. These are about 100, 110 bushels, 120 bushels more. So, what is that? I'll uh, just say, this is for conservancy. Let's say there was uh, 12 to 1300 bushels of corn that I picked yesterday while the boys were doing their job. You know, they got to do their job. So, they were mowing. Now, today Cody's got a wedding. And I've got a dentist appointment. I haven't been to the dentist in a couple of years because of COVID. And my wife is like, you know, your teeth are really dirty. I'm like, yeah, I hear you. And I said, and I guess I've had the damn COVID. Uh, I don't know if I have or not. Of course, they won't. They don't want you anywhere near them. They just want to write you down as a COVID case. Uh, it was nothing more than a cold for a couple of weeks. So a pretty severe one at that. Headache. Uh, congestion couldn't breathe what a mess that was but anyway yeah so there you go there you go anyway I'll get back to the dryer I've got that thing unloading hopefully it hasn't rolled down across the damn field I disconnected it from the this tractor and I should have put the uh, 5020 on it but I did not and I'm gonna do that now okay I'm on my way to the dentist yeah, I gotta get my teeth cleaned. Well, at least get a lot of plaque on the bottom side. And since COVID, we just haven't, I haven't gone to the dentist. And I'm sure they're gonna give me some kind of nose picking shit about, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, COVID, you know, wearing a stupid mask. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna go in. I mean, how do they work on your teeth if you got a mask on, right? So, anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm up to. It's gonna take me about an hour to deal with that. Uh, Timothy's running the dryer, and when I get back, I'm probably just gonna go mow hay because I have to do that job, and uh, I got a lot of work to do. We're supposed to have rain on Saturday, and then it's supposed to clear out. I'm not too concerned about the rain hitting this hay. It doesn't matter, it's mulch hay anyway. Um, this weatherman lies so bad. They seem to get the days that it's gonna rain now. They get those right. Every other day, no. But lately, these days, yeah, they are correct. With the rain, not the sun. You say hi, I hit my head. Hi. Oh, thumpy bumpy over there. Hi. Hoi. 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 Oh. <laughs> you did it to yourself, kiddo. Oh, I hope I can fit through there. If I can't fit through there, it's going to be a bit of a bugger. You can fit. Oh, I can fit through here. This one you can, the other one. Not, this one's not the one I'm worrying about. And she's like, holy cow, those things are big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. Really? Like, the things we do in New Jersey to make hay, isn't that something? Oh, right here? No, over there is what you're concerned. Yeah, it's still white. Over there. I mean, if we get off the edge here, it's no big deal. I'll like, back out. But it's just I'm so 
figure out she was out of breath. <laughs> Good thing she's only like 10 years older than me. Pretty rough deal, eh? This is what I'm worried about. Too tight. Oh, you'll fit. I don't know. I mean... I don't know. Holy what do I got right shit. there? There's the edge of the pipe. There is a uh, branch there. See that tree? That's a tree. Limp tree. Oh, oh. That's a vine catching me. Oh, a damn vine. Oh, let's put it this way. Hang on, hang on. We're through. Ah! Yay! Ooh. I don't think tomato would have made it. No. This one is a top. The head's not down. Or that's just a shield. That's just a shield. That's alright. It'll fall down as soon as I cut through some of these trees. Welcome to the mushroom barn, guys. I thought that this ground was owned by that farm over there, but it's not. There's a waterway. I see that. See, when we used to do the farm over on the other side, I always saw this and I thought, oh, I'd go ask about this. It's been how many years since we farmed that over there? A long ass time ago. Water came down through here. Well, good job, William. He's hanging on. He's hanging on. So normally we would just be picking corn and, you know, picking corn and selling corn, but hey, we're still in the mowing mode. Still in mowing mode. Get in there and shut that door, boy. Get in there and shut that door. We're still mowing hay, so I need to run quite a ways away, but I don't need a whole full load of fuel because we're a little short on fuel, believe it or not. They brought two tank loads in here the other day. Each one of these tanks is a little over a thousand, it's like 1,100 gallon, and we are through one of them already. So I don't really want to don't really want to uh, put it all in I don't really want to put it all and fill the thing up because we're running the combine and stuff so anyway I'll get this thing gathered up I got about a half a tank of fuel, which is a hundred and some gallon, or yeah, half a tank of fuel is about 75, 80 gallons. You better get in there, get your seatbelt on, we're gonna go. So, I gotta drive 30 mile to get to the next place that we're going. And, I've got a little bit of a gripe about it. Simple reason is because we were over there the other day and I was told that they had sold the property that, that I was told they sold the property. Well, yesterday, the day before yesterday, after we had left there, she's like, hey, why aren't you doing my property? We're like, you sold it. She says, no, 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 we didn't. We still need to make that hay. So I gotta drive my ass 30 some miles all the way back up there for that. She's like, so when are you gonna bail it? I'm like, well, if I'm mowing today, I'm not bailing until next week. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I like her, but she's a pain in the ass. Anyway, yeah. Right, Will? Right, right, right Will. Say right, Will. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's my right hand man. It's on. So my wife gives me great moral support. As I drive through here not feeling well. She keeps me company, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. I enjoy her company even when she's grumpy. You're grumpy, I'm not. I am grumpy. I don't feel good. I woke up at 1.30 this morning with a fever. Took an Advil, which I never do, but I did it anyway. And I woke up again. I think I woke up at 3.30. Went to the bathroom. Watched 
a couple of videos trying to go to the bathroom because I felt really bad. It didn't happen. Went back to bed, woke up at quarter after seven. I thought that was kind of late. Took a couple more Advil and uh, taken Advil one more time since. And it's wearing off because I'm starting to feel miserable again. It's not a headache, it's just a fever, so. I should just take aspirin for that matter. I think Teresa has some aspirin. But, it's in the diaper bags. Yeah. So anyway. We're back to mowing. I got Tim and Cody combining corn. They're running the combine. So this farm over here. Hey, was, William, don't do that. You're going to break the glass. Hey, give me that. This farm here is like 30 miles from home. And I, I think I said this already, but I thought they had sold this property. They had told me they had sold the property or were selling the property. So when we were over here three days ago, I just went home. And then I got a question mark on my text messaging about these, these two pieces. There's a field over there. And then there's this field here and the one behind us. And I was kind of hoping it was sold, but it, because, Go it, lay down. because it's got perk tests in it. I don't know if you know what perk tests are, if you're in other parts of the world or the country, but it's for septic systems and uh, perk and logs. Uh, basically, they test the ground to see if it's going to support the building, the water, the septic. This is probably public sewer here, but some of them, I, I don't know though. I mean, that might be a huge mound over there. But anyways, that's what they do. And then they, they stack the dirt back up on top and it never settles back down and usually the people that dig the perk test they they don't know how to put the rocks back on the bottom they'll push the topsoil in to the bottom of the hole and leave all the rocks and stuff on top where it can destroy the mower last year cody was working in here and he hit a couple of perk tests and finally did he did actually break the mower so anyways, I had to come back over here today, and this is what we're doing. Getting this mode. We are in the, I'd say we're in the home stretch, don't you think? You know, I'd say so. Yeah. I think we are. I mean, we're getting there. Um, stop touching that. You burn up the battery when you do that. I like to see you. I don't give a shit. I do. Yeah, I don't. I'm grumpy, remember? doing our job we're finishing up I think we're gonna be done with hay in the next week or two I'm hoping we just got a few stragglers to do when I'm done nailing what we have mowed now I have a couple of people that have called me looking for me to farm ground and whoever they were having farm their ground didn't do it so it's kind of We're at that point where, there's a bump, did you see it? Uh, we're at that point where we're gonna be taking ground from other people because they're not doing their job and we're able to do our job. Uh, there's another perk test. Yeah, I knew there's something here. I hate these things. So, uh, yeah, so if you're, you're not doing the ground, you're not doing, just a little communication is all you need with your property owner. This woman that called today was saying that she needs uh, somebody to mow her ground because the guy that she's currently got doing it will not return her phone calls. So I got to call her back tonight when I'm done with what we're doing, or maybe tomorrow morning. I have to go see, and that's another 25, another 25 acres between those two. be a problem with the pickup. I think we'll be all right though. Anyway, that's enough videotaping for now. Ooh.